Hey everybody, it's Miss Jenny and here we are for yet another Therapeutic Thursday. We're almost at our summertime. So again, we're going to be looking at some safety. Today, we're going to be looking at bike safety. Not water safety like we covered last time, but bicycle safety. Sometimes we don't think about the fact that we need to be safe on our bicycles, but we do. When you're on anything that moves, you need to have something to protect you. Now, the biggest thing that we need to protect is our head because that's where our brain is. And if we don't have our brain, well, it makes it kind of difficult to do things. So that's one of the things that we're gonna look at taking care of. We also need to make sure that our bike is in good working order. We also need to know the laws of the road if we're gonna be on the road riding, which I really don't recommend unless you live in an area where there's very little traffic. Um, but certainly anytime you ride your bike, you need to make sure that there's a parent close by and that you're not riding during those times where there is traffic. Now, we want you to have fun, but we also want you to be safe. So, Miss Natalie's gonna be with you here in just a second, and she's gonna talk to you about how to be safe when you're riding your bicycle, but also be able to have fun because we know that summer is full of lots of fun and lots of you're going to be riding your bikes and learning to ride bikes, but we want that to be a safe time and a fun time. Hey everybody, it's Miss Natalie here. I just wanted to stop in and see you guys again this week. I love being able to catch up with you guys every week and I hope you guys are learning some things too. So. Last week we talked about water safety, which is super important because we're getting really close to summer and who knows what kind of water you'll be around. So I hope you listened to last week and I hope you learned some tips that maybe you hadn't thought of before. But this week we're going to talk about bike safety. Now you may think, Miss Natalie, I know how to be safe on a bike, but there may be some tips that you don't always think about because like I said, you know how to be safe on a bike, but it's just a few reminders to help you stay smart and stay safe when you're outside riding your bike. Okay, so number one, always wear your helmet. Okay, always wear your helmet. We wanna keep those noggins good and safe so they can keep growing nice and strong. So when you're wearing your helmet, you can't just, you know, put your helmet on and then not fasten it because well, then if you fell down, your helmet would probably fall off. So make sure that you put your helmet on all the way and then you fasten it underneath your chin. There should always be a buckle under your chin. When you fasten it, make sure that it doesn't pull down too far because if it's too loose, then it won't protect your head really good. So make sure you pull down and make sure that it's tight all the way. If it's not tight enough, make sure that you tighten it. If you can't tighten it on your own, make sure that you ask an adult or somebody that's your friend that can help you tighten it, okay? So number two, jet dress bright for your safety. So a shirt like this is a great option. Something that's a really bright color so that way people can see you. If you're riding early in the morning or later in the evening when it's starting to get dark, then it can be hard for people to see you. So make sure that you wear bright colors so they can always see you. Number three, always wear shoes that are attached to your feet. Now that sounds silly, I'm sure, but make sure that you wear a shoe that tightens around your foot. So if it's a tennis shoe that you tie up super tight, or if it's a sandal that has buckles or like a strap that you can tighten around your foot, wear something like that. If you wear a flip-flop, that's not always a safe option because it can get caught on things. It could come off your foot. It could cause you to slip while you're driving. So make sure that you wear a shoe that's, a shoe that's secure on your feet because we want to keep those little toes nice and safe. Number four, check your bike for safety. Make sure that you check that you've got good air in your tires, that the cap isn't gone so that way you're not losing air out of your tires, that if your kickstand's safe, make sure it's secure, handlebars are working good, make sure that your pedals are on there tight and that your chain's on there good so that way your bike works the right way. Because if one of those things that is off, it might cause you to have an accident, things might get a little wobbly and you might fall off. 
So we want to make sure you're safe the whole time. And number five is obey the road, the rules of the road. So when you're riding your bike, if you're in the road and you can't be on the sidewalk, always stay on the right side of the road. Always use road signs and use your hand signals. So if there's a stop sign, that means you have to stop too. It's not just for the cars. So always make sure that you see the road signs. Now I said hand signals and that may be something that you don't technically know about or maybe you've heard about it but you don't know what the right symbols are. So I'm going to show you your, the few hand signs that I do know and hopefully you'll be able to use them a lot. Okay? So if you're doing a left turn, you're going to use your left arm. Make sure that makes your L so you know that you're using the right arm and you're going to extend it all the way out. So your arm's just going to be straight all the way out and you're going to be pointing your fingers to the left. That way, if somebody is driving behind you, they can see that you're turning left. And if somebody's in front of you, they can also see that you're turning left. Got it? Okay. For a right turn, you're going to use your left arm again, and you're going to hold it up and create a 90 degree angle. So your arm's going to be up like this. It's going to come straight out and it's going to look like the corner of a square. So when we hold it up like this, the person behind us or in front of us knows that we're turning right. So the last one is for stopping or slowing down. So if you're coming up to a stop sign or a yield sign, this is the signal that you would use. This just lets the person know behind you that you are using the road signs so that way they don't think, oh, they're not using those, I can keep going. This is just to keep you safe, okay? So. This one you can use your right or your left hand. So for right now, I'm just going to use my left because you guys can see this one. So when you're stopping, you're going to do the same thing as you do for a right turn. You've got your 90 degree angle so that way they can see. But what you're going to do is flip it this way. You're going to flip it down so that way the person that's behind you can see that your hand is a stop sign. That means that you're slowing down or you're stopping. So, if you have to stop, right angle and down. That way they can see your stop sign. All right. Well, I hope you guys have learned a few things and maybe thought about a few things that you didn't think about before. But if you already knew all those things, it was just a great reminder for you to stay safe and for you to have fun. So, I hope you guys continue to do all those things. Have a really great time and keep doing your schoolwork. But I miss you guys, and I'm so glad I got to see you today. Bye. Well, there you go. Miss Natalie covered lots and lots of, of things that we need to do in order to be safe. But number one was wear your helmet. we got to make sure that our heads are protected. Boys and girls, if you fall and you hit your head, there can be some pretty bad consequences of that. So let's make sure that we're always wearing our helmet, but even more importantly, let's make sure that that helmet, number one, fits you correctly and is on nice and, and sturdy and in a tight fashion so that it doesn't wobble back and forth. We wanna make sure that your head is protected if for some reason, maybe you hit a rock or something and you do fall. We also wanna make sure that our bicycles are in good working condition. And that's where your parents need to come in as well. Let's make sure that, that chain is tight, that the brakes are working, both the foot brake and the, ha the handbrake if you have it. And let's make sure that the, there's good air in the, the tires and that everything is tightened down the way that it needs to be tightened down in order to keep you safe. Also, Miss Natalie talked about those hand signals. We know that we use our left hand when we're signaling and straight out is a left hand turn, an L uh, like that means that you're going to make a right hand turn. Um, an L going downward means that you're about to stop. Okay, so let's make sure that we're using those hand signals. I was on the interstate this, this weekend and there was a man that kept sticking his hand out straight out of his window and I know that he was just feeling the air between his fingers, but my husband, who was sitting next to me, said, I wish he would quit signaling to turn left. And so 
a lot of people know that that's, that's the correct way to do things when you're on a bicycle. So let's make sure that we follow those traffic laws. If you're not supposed to ride on the, the sidewalk in your area, then let's not do that. If you have to ride in the street, make sure that your parent is close. Make sure that, that they know that where you're going and make sure that, that they know that everything is okay for you to be riding. Now, we want you to have fun this summer. We want you to enjoy your time on your bicycle. We're so proud of um, so many of you who have let us know that you learned how to ride your bike this summer. Let's make sure that we're being safe. Now, these safety tips can also go for scooters. Mm -hmm. Scooters, you need to wear your helmet when you're riding your scooter, whether it's a, a kick type or an electric type. You should be wearing your helmet if you have a Hot Wheels type um, type vehicle that has, you know, the battery uh, operated kind. Anything that moves, you need to be wearing your helmet so that your head and your body is protected. Other things that people wear, elbow pads, knee pads, you can wear those. And by all means, we want you to be safe, but just know that our main objective is to make sure that what you're riding is safe and that your body is safe in the event that you fall. Now, I think we only have a couple more lessons left for this year. So we're gonna be talking more about safety this next lesson as well. So wear your helmet, ride safely, and make sure, make sure you're out there exercising, being a verb, and having some fun. That's it for another Therapeutic Thursday. Hope you enjoy it.